If you have clicked on this video, then I am pretty sure that on multiple occasions, you have previously considered pursuing a master's program. In today's episode, I'm going to give you four good reasons why you should consider Germany as an option to come and study in. Stick around for the whole episode as the information given in today's video might just help you make the decision on whether or not to pursue your master's program in Germany. Let's get started. As you probably already know, Germany is one of the few countries in the world whose public universities offer tuition-free education to both its citizens and to international students. It is also important to note that there are over 1,500 master's programs taught in Germany, with 89% of them being purely taught in English. And finally, a majority of the programs that are taught in German universities are internationally recognized as German education is globally renowned for its high quality. So now the question is, why would you go to other countries such as the US, Canada or the UK and end up paying thousands of pounds when you can get high quality education in Germany at a fraction of the cost? Germany has a very structured and a pretty straightforward route towards getting permanent residency if you arrive as an international student. Once you graduate from your master's program, you are immediately eligible for the job seeker visa. This is a special visa that allows foreigners who have graduated from recognized universities in Germany to remain in the country for a period of 18 months as they look for full-time employment at a German company. After you find a job, you can then shift from the job seeker visa to the employment visa, but be aware that this job has to meet certain requirements set by the German government. And once you have lived and worked in Germany for at least three years, you may be eligible for the permanent residence permit as long as you meet the other requirements set by the German Bundestag. Keep in mind that the moment you become a permanent resident, you have all the rights to live, work and settle in Germany just like any other German citizen, apart from the right to vote and obviously the right to possess a German passport. If you would like me to make a video talking more about either the job seeker visa, the employment visa, or even the permanent residency process, kindly let me know in the comment section down below. Also, while you're down there, kindly leave a like on this video. And if you are new to the channel and so far you are finding value from today's episode, all I ask from you is to subscribe to the channel. As you can see, we are nearly at 700 subs and we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So yeah, kindly help us get there. That way I can keep making content that will help even more people in the future. If you take a look at the European map, you will notice that Germany is located pretty much at the center. In fact, this country borders nine other European nations and because Germany has one of the best transportation systems in the world, traveling either by road, rail or even air to any other country in Europe is relatively easy and affordable. Once you arrive in Germany on a student visa, you are able to visit any other nation in the EU without having to worry about applying for visas to travel to each and every country. Just to show you how convenient it is to travel from Germany to any other European country, a few weeks ago I met a friend of mine on a Friday evening around 6 p.m. here in Munich. And the next morning I woke up to his Instagram stories of him hiking in a city in Austria. I honestly cannot think of many other countries in the world that allow a student as many options to travel to when not studying.
The last reason why I would urge you to consider Germany as a study destination is the more affordable cost of living when compared to other nations. Based on my own personal research, Germany is amongst the top five most affordable countries to live in as an international student. This is because per month, a student spends on average between 800 and 860 euros. Other countries that usually tend to make up this top five list include Hungary, Poland, Lithuania, and even Portugal. But in my opinion, I think Germany is a better destination mainly due to the better quality of life you get in return for spending the 800 euro every single month. A few weeks ago, I made a video where I talked about how much I spend in a month as an international student. If you haven't already watched it, I kindly urge you to do so. That way you get to see how much it costs to live as an international student in the most expensive city in Germany. And there you have it. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more insightful content. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, kindly let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, bye!